What's up and welcome back to our Clone Wars Chronological Rewatch. Today we're talking about the Crisis on Naboo, and this is the episode, the last one of the Obi-Wan undercover arc. So Obi-Wan, as Reiko Hardeen and the other bounty hunters infiltrate uh, the Festival of Life on Naboo, they briefly kidnap Palpatine before rescuing him, but then Palpatine kind of maneuvers this thing with Dooku and makes him fight Anakin. We'll talk about that later because that's some good stuff, but... <laughs> Uh, the theme of this episode is that trust is the greatest of gifts, but it must be earned. And this is just really hitting on the the idea that the Jedi Council doesn't trust Anakin. Yeah. And like, what does he have to do to earn their trust I'm, at this point? I'm on your side. Like, yeah, he's a little bit unpredictable, a little reckless, but like he's only ever tried to help. And yeah. And you... The whole thing with Obi-Wan and him being in the dark for that whole plan, it really rubs him the wrong way. I mean, that's the part where the Imperial March plays briefly is when Obi-Wan tells Anakin that it was his idea to lie uh, because, yeah, we wanted your reaction to sell Obi-Wan's death and everything. But like the fact that Anakin doesn't feel like his best friend, brother, father figure doesn't trust him like that hurts yeah and like as a kid he was a slave he was used as a, like a pawn by Watto uh and this is just another way of like people kind of using him and uh, manipulating his reaction to sell something and and his feelings for the people he loves right right so I get why he has such a strong reaction to all this, um, but yeah, it plays into the the bigger story. Yeah, I mean, it really shows that it, it's not just Anakin's fault that he falls. Like, this whole arc is very much showing kind of where they're at on their on their fall. Yeah, where at the start of it's so fun to go back to Attack of the Clones and see some of the things they say about like oh a jedi would never assassinate anyone and they're not quite there yet like they they try to assassinate dooku later on but this is still such a shifty thing that they're doing it's definitely like they're they're towing a line mm -hmm. that and, a lot of people fail anakin over the course of clone wars and mm -hmm. the prequels but this is just one of the biggest things where they're like we don't trust you and then Palpatine obviously knows that and is digging at him like, uh, what, he, he says, oh, I'm sure that this was all your idea, right? What a brilliant plan. It had to be you. And he's like, nope, nobody told me anything. <laughs> yeah. And that's right before the whole Dooku scene, which a lot of people have theorized, and I think it's absolutely correct, that this is probably what the Battle of Coruscant was supposed to be. Like, I think it's Palpatine's first attempt to really push Anakin to the dark side uh, because it's Anakin and Palpatine and Dooku together and that's it. No Obi-Wan, no one else. Mm -hmm. He, I, I he do just like, wants that fight to happen. I do like how they had Obi-Wan while he's still in disguise. He just like feels like something still isn't right and he finds that like hidden communicator and then realizes like, oh, they've known about what was going on all along. Mm-hmm. Which he finds that because Anakin's like, how do you know that the council didn't even tell you the whole truth? And then mm -hmm. he's just like, yeah, maybe I don't have the full story here. But yeah, that's the thing is that Obi-Wan, the people who are close to Anakin are always going to be able to like pull him back out of it. And that's part of like Palpatine needed to get Ahsoka away from him. He needed to get Obi-Wan unconscious, <laughs> at least to kill Dooku, but they also needed he needed obi-wan to be on utapal like yeah he needed anakin close and his friends farther away mm -hmm. but yeah i really love that idea that yep this is basically what we see in revenge of the sith but just a little bit anakin wasn't quite ready mm -hmm. and palpatine knew what he needed to be knew what he needed to do yeah and you can kind of see it in on palpatine's face in that moment he's like all right, we're 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 getting somewhere. We're seeing some progress, but he's not there yet. I love all those little smirks and grins whenever Anakin's back isn't turned. He's just like he's got that evil smile. 
Yeah. Good stuff. But yeah, uh, that is it for this arc. And next time we're going to go back to the Night Sisters with the episode Massacre. Another good episode. We're like at the point where all the episodes are great now. And that's <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, but until then, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. And consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.